Hey guys, so I've actually been looking into getting a filtered water system for a little while and that's because I've been pretty tired of having to run to the store to buy distilled water just for my house plants. So what I like about this system was that it's good for your house plants and for your garden plants. So you can be assured that what you're eating is not full of chlorine and contaminants because ultimately, I mean, what we put into our garden is what we're gonna get out of our garden. So let's see if this guy works. Let's see if it actually does what it says it will. And then I'll be able to see if I can recommend it or not. Okay, so here's the deal. I wanna make sure that this filter actually works to make my water cleaner. So here I set up a little experiment to kind of see how effective it actually is. So here I've got some muddy water and then I'm using my automatic watering system actually for the pump to pump it through the filter out into this clear vase. So let's see once and for all if this water comes out cleaner. Okay, here it goes. It's coming through the, coming through there. Pumping in, nothing's coming out yet. Here it comes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is really clear. Wow. 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 Oh my goodness, that definitely works. Look at that. And now that it's full, it's filling up as fast as it's draining on the other side. Man, I see that to my plants. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay, well, it works. <laughs> okay, we are on to test number two. So for this test, We've already flushed our system with tap water to get all of that uh, extra sediments out that we put into in the last test. And now we're going to see how well it does against chlorine specifically. Now we're first going to run some regular tap water through. I've got some uh, pool strips to test the chlorine levels before and after. We're going to test regular tap water and then test it after it's been through the filter and then I'm going to really amp up. I've got some majorly chlorinated water here in the pitcher here, and we're going to do a before and after test there too to see how well this filter actually gets rid of the chlorine. Okay, so this is my tap water here. So let's see, it looks like we've got about 0.5 parts per million of the free chlorine. Got about one part per million of the total chlorine, got 40 uh, parts per million for our alkalinity, got about 6.8 there for our pH, and then our hardness is probably between those two, between 0 and 100. And now once again, this is my tap water, so I'm not expecting to have a lot of chemicals in here, so that's about a normal range. Okay, oh my goodness, wow. Yeah, that definitely removed the chlorine. Okay, so the free chlorine, there, the total chlorine, yeah, that's definitely lighter, definitely lighter. 
Okay, going towards the zero there. Our alkalinity looks like it's about 80, so that actually neutralized it a bit. Um, our pH is a lot higher, so that's one thing to notice. There's a higher pH. And then our total hardness is about the same. Okay, so it definitely removed the chlorine out of the tap water, but now we're gonna test it with this super chlorinated water, right? So here we go, let's see how much, ooh, we got a ton of chlorine in there. Okay, so it's definitely at the 10. That, that is off the scale. That's so much, that's off the scale. Okay, and alkalinity is way down there. You see it's way too light there pH also super acidic right now, and then our hardness is about the same. Okay, here we go. I hope this doesn't break my filter. <laughs> this is like so much chlorine. Okay, here we go. Honestly, if this is just on the scale, I would be happy. That was crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. Do you see this? Look at that. That is crazy. Okay, it's definitely at the zeros. From like off the charts, back down to zero. And our alkalinity is back to normal. Back into normal range. pH and basic so it definitely removed all of it and hardness about the same yeah dude that worked better than i thought okay that was even better than i thought i i thought it would at least move it down into the levels but like to have it back down to zero that's that's crazy so just so you guys can see the difference right so i've got the chlorinated and this is the filtered water and look at that. Look at that huge difference. So we go from super purple down to white. And it looks like I got a speck on it. But that's, that's it. Like the rest of that is pure white. And from that like brown to like light yellow. So I'd say this thing works. I mean, we definitely put it through the test here. We pumped a lot of chlorine into it. And for it to remove that much chlorine, I'm definitely gonna give this to my plants. Okay, so honestly, this filter system really worked. It went through the tests and it got rid of all of those contaminants and especially that chlorine in the water. Like, I was shocked. I put it through the worst possible test, completely off the scale, and it still got rid of all of the chlorine. So I'm gonna use it personally so go ahead, check it out. I'm going to put a link below. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and see, uh, learn a bit more about houseplants and just plants in general because they rock, right? No pun intended. So happy digging and have a good week.